many sins and flesh devouring parasites, it is the time to do the daily challenge of Spelunky. And it is November 3rd, and this one, this one, unlike all the others, is going to be death in 1-1. Ha! You thought I would have, I would have said, oh, it's going to be the massive success that I've been waiting for, blah, 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 blah. No, I dashed your expectations. I just, I just work like that, man. I'm just, I'm just too freaking unpredictable. I'm just incredible. And everything I try to accomplish, you see. Anyway, let's just stop saying, saying stupid, non-factual things and get into the daily challenge. That is actually going to be pretty good. One way or another, even if I die in 1-1, it's still going to be pretty damn awesome. Because, you know, I'm playing it. So that just makes it, by default, makes it the absolute best daily challenge you'll ever watch. Let's do this. Aha! Because I wanted to go this way and accomplish nothing whatsoever. I guess I could have grabbed those 500 gold, but nah. Hello, little rat. You're going to be my little test subject. It did not work out the way I intended to. So let's do this instead, I guess. You, you're going to come with me one way or another. You're going to do the intended thing that I want you to do. There you go. And here we have Fred. That is simply going to be the instrument of me getting a little bit more health. Not going to be giving a shit about his fate one way or another, but if it benefits me... Then he'll totally make it through the exit, and indeed that's going to be the case. Not going to be waiting for... I mean, I can't even get back up. Well, so that ruby is lost forever to the currents of time. Not terribly pleased about that. I guess I can use a rope to grab a ruby, but that seems like the stupidest thing I could have possibly done. So simply move on to 1-2. And the fantastic, fantastic things that will happen therein. Immediately we get to murder somebody. So right away, this daily challenge has become a massive success in the sense that we have murdered a shopkeeper, our dreams and hopes have been accomplished truly by this fantastic feat. I was hoping for a another gem over there. We have two emeralds out here, so probably we'll be roping all the way back up. I'm hearing still shopkeeper music, which means... Hmm. Let me finish that thought, which means that there's going to be a vault. So definitely that enables us to get into the spider realm here we can actually drop major stupid right that right there and uh, get into the spider realm here and also enables us to get all the way back up uh, having all this good stuff to make that whoa <laughs> never mind i'm going to st still have to use a rope because i'm a freaking moron let's do that it's okay we have plenty uh this has not been triggered i want to say so let's make that happen with the shotgun. There you go. And he actually gets arrow. That's pretty neat. And we're just going to stomp on this. Ah, oh, that's dumb. I wanted the paste. I definitely did not want to pick up the freaking gems, though. Not pleased about that. Man, another rope to get back up. And there's this vault. Somewhere. Hmm. Another rope to get back up. That is just the thing that needs to happen. Upsetting. But just, it's just, it's just what must happen, son of a bitch. Uh, at least that vault is going to be super easy. I'm kind of proud of that reaction to the spider, by the way. I did not realize it was there until the very last moment. Uh, we have very limited time to get this done, so hopefully I can get it done without death to my person. Um, really don't like this. I think that was well timed, but he got out. He could totally get to me from where he's at. I think he got a uh, belly full of lead now, though. Yeah. Good deal. Uh, we can ghost this with an extra bomb without much trouble. The priority now is to get back up to those two gems. I'm determined, man. They were there. Totally gotta have them. Have them ghosted. And I have eight seconds to make it to the other side. I have five seconds to make it to the other side. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 yeah! <laughs> oh, man. And we need to stand right here. Also, I can have those two emeralds. And if I play my cards right, I can actually go back there and have the ghost descend just low enough to get my vault going. So this is what needs to happen. Hopefully, this will work out the way I want it to work out. Pick that one up first. All right, okay, okay. This can totally happen. There you go. I don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to try this full damage. Holy shit, I just grabbed onto that ledge. Sweet deal, man. That was just pro strats. It was not me being stupid. It was pro strats. Okay. I 
Okay, now we have to descend very, very quickly, actually. Let's get the ghost all the way over here. Will this be fast enough? I think it will. Oh yeah. Oh yeah? Oh yeah? Did we do it? Yeah! Yeah! Oh yeah! Ghosted experience right there. That is just my prowess at ghosting. I'm claiming 100% of the credit there of being efficient at ghosting. Yes, indeed. Anyway, we're going to get, go back up because that dog uh, is very, very much in need of assistance. And we're going to absolutely provide it. Poor Major Stupid. He has done nothing wrong. He deserves to be rescued. Or I guess tossed into the next level and whatever might happen to him after that. Well, that is not my, none of my concern, I guess. Also something I want to do. But before I do it, I need to grab the vault just in case. I'm going to pick up the pick up the idol at the very top because Darren is there we love to see the good times roll so let's do it let's freaking do it it's kind of dumb the way I'm doing things but I think I have plenty of time to do it yeah there you go too bad no Kali out there we could have really profited from that in this level man I got some some snot stuck in my throat man oh man that was much better and I'm, I doubt I will edit that out. I will completely forget to edit that out. I should have maybe muted the microphone. I had the ca capability to do such things. Ooh, wow. That was immensely, immensely close. And I should have done it that way. But I did. And it worked out. So it's okay. Man, it really went far. That was neat. I like it. Brush. A brush with danger right there. There you go. Oh man, sorry about that. It's a little pause there. I just had this very unpleasant. Um, are you going to are you going to survive, friend, or are you going to get murdered now? You came right into my arms. I commend you. Congratulations on being of assistance to me. I guess I could have tried my bestest to keep him alive, but I've been kind of stupid. I think I have time to do this. Yeah, that was really close though. Should not, have, should not have taken that risk, but I did it. Really not that big a deal. Psh, I just brush it off, man. I'm just I'm just too badass for this. I'm, I think, boasting a little too much. I am going to meet disaster if I don't keep my mouth shut. Uh, because karma is, uh, is an evil mistress. And will listen to my words and go out of it her way to visit death and disaster upon me. Okay, that was not what I wanted. I don't believe in any of that uh, karma bullshit. Other than that, you know, the karma that you make for yourself if you're an asshole to people. Um, you know, likelihood is you're going to have a bad time eventually. But there's nothing supernatural about it. It's just another instance of people trying to find meaning where there's none. Okay, there you go. That's my personal view on the matter. I can I have no proof. And then, you know, you always seem the way things seem to work in the universe. We have murdered John Bane here, and really, I feel no guilt about it. No guilt whatsoever. I have six points of health, so it's really of no consequence whether he dies or not, is it? Uh, we're going to grab this money because it's just too much freaking work to ghost it. And since we are already at 149, this guy could be a problem. Oh wow, I'm so glad I did not descend upon his realm here. But this could be bad, uh, me standing here shooting. He could easily dodge these shots. Okay, but he did not, so good deal. Eh? Everything worked out in my favor. Kaliata, totally forgot about it until just now. So let's uh, go back. Pro should keep the shotgun. I think I cannot make the way back up without the shotgun. I can. I totally can. Mm -mm -mm. I can do better. I can. There you go. Could I have made it there? Now nah, I would have had needed something else. And I wish I had not, you know, murdered his ass because I did not realize 
that uh, there was a Kali art that I could have benefited from. Oh shit, totally forgot about this dude. Uh, but there's a uh, shopkeeper down there, and with everything that we have sacrificed, it uh, actually will give me a Kapala. Whoa, that skeleton was still alive somehow. I guess still re reanimatable. Okay, we can actually go through here. We trigger this. And I'm carrying a corpse in my hands, which will actually shield me from any from any arrow traps that might come my way. Now, if you're aware of that fact, it totally is a fact. If you're carrying a corpse in your arms, it doesn't matter whether it's, you know, if it's a live, a live NPC or not, it will totally protect you. Even, even this rat will protect you from an arrow trap to the freaking chest. Hey, there's a, a night all over there that I just noticed. Let's grab it. But first, we want to have the shotgun. Just in case it gets crushed. Is that? Okay. I had room. I had room. It's all good. Ah, okay. <laughs> we got a little bit of extra money for that, too. I was very tempted to go under the ghost, but then I thought better of it. Did not commit suicide. Got a little bit of extra cash. I don't mind. I don't mind at all. And of course, the 5000 for the idol. That's totally not worth it. But we did it anyway. Because we love to go our way to make things harder for ourselves. Okay, now we just gotta dodge this ghost one more time. Pretty uh, pauper mines. They have been not very good where money is concerned, but we already have, Kapa have a Kapala, so that kind of makes up for it, I think. But where the money is concerned, it's really not going that great. But the run still very, very young. So we'll be fine. I know that Kali out there, man. She's just ubiquitous today. Uh, not terribly interested in uh, having any more dealings with her excellency, though. Because... Well, this guy's gonna get a uh, load of lead to the face. Uh-oh. Wow. <laughs> that was uh, unpleasantly close. Let's be careful. These shops have been complete shit, by the way. We got one hard hand and one damsel, one brothel. One male brothel. Which is exactly my can of jam, so... I mean, it was pleasant from a sexually arousing perspective, but from a gameplay enhancement pers perspective, it was not terribly great. Kinda would rather have a whole bunch of bombs. So there's the shopkeeper right there. Oh, man. Oh. oh, my nose. It itched so bad. <laughs> uh, this guy should die, actually. As long as I keep shooting here, we have a minute of 15 seconds to make this happen. Still, the, the shopkeeper music is still going. I think it stopped. Yeah. Good deal, man. Um, I am seeing a few gems. There are so few of them. Very disappointing. Oh, there's Sapphire here. So, ghosting in this one looks pretty damn easy. We can get an easy 15,000. And, of course, we need to find the key. I did not see it in the entirety. There goes my shotgun. I, I hope that I have a way to get that. Ugh. Ugh I really don't like this level. This level sucks. Uh, probably in this corner up here. And I can get back up. Yeah, there you go. This was a weird layout of a level here. Not pleased with it. Not pleased at all. Okay. Let's see. Nope, I was hoping for an extra gem. I got nothing. But there are two gems up there. We can get it. But it'll be kind of hard to ghost. Okay. But this emerald should be pretty damn easy. I should have gone from the sapphire at the very bottom. That would have been, the, I think, the hardest thing to ghost. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see eventually. But this shouldn't be too bad. A little tight. Ow! Well, better than dying, right? Probably. But I could have done both. I could have both survived and goes to those two without picking it up. Whatever, man. Whatever. 
Don't beat yourself over it. It's all right. I uh, believe there's a sapphire back here. And is it gettable? Yes. Pow. <clears throat> it's actually quite easy. Whee! Yay! Yeah, yeah, let's go fuck. Whee! Let's put our penis insta inside this eye socket. Do 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 Necrophilia. Alright, let's... <laughs> After that small episode of disturbing sexual deviation, let's go all the way down here. Get that sapphire like it was intended. And then... Grab the rest and we'll be good. Gotta make it all the way back up to the emerald. Which means... To the former emerald. emerald to the entity formerly known as emerald. And then I believe we're done. Of course we gotta grab the sapphire. We works we skull fuck so hard for. There we go. Into the jungle we go. All the monkeys. All the Mowgli's. When I was young, when I was like really young. About seven. I say like I'm really old now. I'm I'm 31 right now. That's that's still considered kinda young, right? Well that was dumb. <laughs> that's still considered young, I feel. I'm not like I mean I, I will enter middle age soon enough. But I, I, I'm, I can still qualify as a young man. But anyway, when I was about seven, eight or so, I was just so super obsessed. Don't ask me why. I have no idea why I liked it so much with the Jungle Book, the animated series. Mowgli and Mo Mowgli, I think is pronounced, and um, Baloo and the tiger that I don't even remember the name of. Was it even a tiger? Was it a monkey? I don't even remember, man. <laughs> well, holy shit, was I obsessed. I just wanted to be the Jungle Boy just so much. It was my my most desired thing. I had dreams about it, like literal dreams of being the Jungle Boy. I, I have no idea why. I don't, even, I don't even know where I'm going with this whole story, other than just to tell you that I have that kind of weird obsession about it. And I always found it strange. As in later on thinking about it, I was like, why? It wasn't even that good of a cartoon. It was really awful. But I was, you know, really, really young. After that came uh, Ranma One and a Half or something like that, it was called. I was super into that. In fact, it was the sole reason why I wanted to have long hair for the longest time. And I, I had very long hair, by the way. Where's the, where's the black market? I used to have really long hair, as in, to the small of my back. Up until I was maybe about 25, I was like, oh, you know what, I'm really, really freaking sick of this. <laughs> I wanted to just cut it. Where's the black market? It's really close by. The shopkeeper. I really want to take advantage of him being stuck there. There you go. Oh shit, he's not dead. <laughs> I shot him in the back. He's totally, wow. He's just a ninja, man. He's just fantastic. I admire you. Okay, let's get that uh, idol, first of all. Although, probably should find the black market. Anyone was telling you a story that I completely got derailed. Ropes. Not fond of that. Am I missing something? Is it, is it real close by? I just am completely missing it. Get that emerald, not, I mean that sapphire, now that I'm here. Oh wow, this is bad. Ah, well, we grab a bunch of ropes, so this is not so bad. Uh oh. Okay, this is not a disaster, but it could be. Am I being blind, or is it just really well hidden? I think it's bad. No? What the? I think it's right above the exit, that is my current guess, but I only have two bombs, I really need to make them count. Also, I'm not a fan of how this level turned out. I could go that ruby, but then I'll probably die. Let's try from here. It blinks so seldom. Where? <laughs> I have no real indication of exactly the location of it. I'm going to explore the bottom, like real close to the exit. If I manage to not die here. <laughs> wow. 
was very upsetting. Very upsetting to my sensibilities. Mm, but I don't want, I cannot take a guess. Can I make it to there? I think so. If I chug a jump, I can. Okay, I just wanted to have the ghost as far up as I can possibly get it. Um, I can't just guess, because I have only two bombs. I was really hoping for the crate that we opened earlier to contain bombs, but instead it was ropes. And it's not here. Let's go all the way over here. I already checked here, though. There's a few blinks. I can't tell. I need to dig it. You're real, this is the ghost. I honestly can't tell where the hell it, it's at. It looks like it's extremely close to that spot. Right above the exit? I can't waste this one bomb. I mean, these two bombs. I'm going to try right above the exit. I might be completely incorrect. Whew. Well, at least I didn't die, right? <laughs> wow, that was terrible. I was terrible, I feel ashamed of myself, but I got saved by the existence of the invisibility frame. Okay, I'm... I'm going to assume it's there. It has to be there. Whew. Why was it so hard? I don't understand. I don't understand what the hell that was. Uh, it just was... Oh, the, this black market's location was awful. But hopefully now we'll get a bunch of bombs. This is bad. It's real bad. I should have char charged in there. All right, this should work. Don't don't kill me, frog. You cannot be the culprit of my demise. You cannot be the instrument of my death. All right. Thank goodness for the Kapala. I survived only by virtue of having a whole bunch of health. That uh, full damage plus Tiki Trap was should have been death, but thankfully it was not. And this run continues on. You know, what I really appreciate would be... I guess so spring shoes is our start, but... You know, you know, I would really appreciate something else. Something blue and round-like. Lots of fuel contained therein. But I don't see it. <laughs> it's not here. The jetpack is not here. There's the, hopefully a cape at the bottom. We still have two jungle levels, so maybe we can get a cape, at the very least, from a vampire. At least we have the 30 bombs. That is really important. Really the instrument. Can I get the Ankh without the gem? I don't think I could anyway. Okay. So the important part is we get the bombs. We have set up the bomb. Okay, well, that was not intended. <laughs> that was absolutely terrible. Okay, these guys should go down pretty easily. Gotta shoot forward. That guy was ready to murder me though. I appreciate that. But at the very least, we have a lot of bombs. And spring shoes, climbing gloves. That is rudimentary start. It is good enough. I tend to take a lot of full damage with that kind of setup, though. Because I'm bad. I'm so bad. Get this money. There's no real point in staying to ghost anything. I guess I could have totally gotten that emerald if I tried real hard. A little bit of blood. I don't know if I grabbed it actually. Whatever. Moving on through through the exit. Nothing to ghost yet. This is a very, very, very bereft of gems seed. It is terrible where money is concerned. Hopefully, at least we'll get a freaking vault. I mean, I've done my bestest. I guess not my bestest because I have left behind a whole bunch of money, uh, as in ghostable gems. But. For the most part, I've tried my best to get whatever gems we have found. There have just not been that many. My greed glands are just not being satisfied today. Okay. Okay. So I really should start doing is just bombing for single, for single gems, because I kind of need to count on getting more bombs later on. Hmm. Maybe I should start doing that. Then again, I really don't wanna. This bomb will not get both. So let's just move on for now. Okay, this bat can totally kill me by throwing me into the plant. And this is actually a delicate situation. Let's go over. Use this rock. 
not uh, have it work as intended, but now at least we can jump on this guy. That was a delicate situation because uh, to skip over the plant, I could have easily gone boomeranged into the plant, so it was not a trivial. Holy shit! <laughs> I thought the plant was, was going to st stop much, much earlier than it did. So uh, right there, we were one pixel away from dying. I hope that you appreciate that fact. How's this frog still alive and not stabbed? Going to watch some frog and frog action? Oh yeah, arousing us all heck. Uh, well, we have a shopkeeper down here that he should murder himself with ticket traps. Eventually. So we have intentionally triggered him. And we have a little bit of time to explore the bottom of this level. He's, he's totally getting himself killed, don't worry about it. Yeah, we definitely want to make it there for the the idol. This is such a horrible seed for money. Do I want to ghost this shit? I really don't. <laughs> honestly, honestly don't. Please, don't keep me here any longer than I have to. Mr. Shopkeeper, get yourself killed. He already got stabbed. His shotgun is in his arms no longer. I can wait no longer. Ah! 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 <laughs> no! No! No, you're forbidden! You're forbidden from destroying my ass. I want to keep that shotgun. Well, and then the shotgun goes into an unreachable place. See ya. Pro strats. Okay. What? The F you shithead. <laughs> I'm so glad I not just die there. I totally could have. Uh, Emerald. Well, I wanted to ghost it, but then I was terrible. Hey, there you go. We get to go something. My goodness, this seed sucks. So much butt. The amount of anus on this seed's tongue, it is unrelatably, unrelatably, wordly impossible to phrase. Like, maybe. Greed must have. Okay. Don't like this? And in fact, we're going to do something like this just to work around the terrible, terrible setup that <laughs> would have had me stabbed in the face and then ghosted. Instead, we're going to go around this ways, these ways. Is this going to work? Yeah. <laughs> oh man, I'm not having a great time. I'm not having a great time. Navigating this level has been terrible, and I did this incorrectly, so now I need to go even further to go around this ghost. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, let's get those two gems that I have worked so goddamn hard to ghost. There you go. And let's not be foolish. This way. Okay, so one more... One more jungle level. It would be really appreciated if it was a dead and restless level, because that would mean almost in all likelihood to get a vampire cape. Vampire cape, but unfortunately that is not the case. I'm gonna do something like this to make it past that, and Matilda gets immediately murdered by random chance. But of course we gave no shits about her, so it's not a tragedy in the slightest. Well, keep grabbing that blood because I don't trust myself to not take a ton of damage. So there's the vault, at least we get that. Stump this guy, prior number one. The freaking boomerangs, man, they're deceptively dangerous. Alrighty, so we want to liberate this guy, and we want to do it in a manner that is conducive to my goals. I don't like, I don't like doing it from the bottom, honestly. We really do not. This is silly. This is silly. This is so silly. But it's working. Kind of. They both killed themselves, so the, the shopkeeper at the bottom also got himself killed. And the reason why they didn't want to use a rope at that situation... Oh, shit. Really? The gems are down there. Well, might as well put them all together, right? They set us up the bomb, might as well do it like this. We are re referencing something for like the 1990s. Is that a 1990s, ma'am? Meme? 
Uh, they set us up the bomb. All your base are belong to us. Is, that, is it so old already? You guys might not even know what the hell I'm talking about. It is so old. It was like basically the very first meme ever created. Like official repeated ad na nauseum meme of the internet. There you go. This vault is a nightmare to get to. And in fact, I think it pays to use that extra bomb to do that. Because holy shit is that hard to, <laughs> to pick up otherwise. So now he's just gonna wait. Too bad I could not get into that, that corner over there. I'm pretty damn certain that just standing here means that the ghost will come from the, from the side that we want it to come from. So I'm just going to just hang out over here, maybe fidget a little bit. It is very hard for me to stay still, both in real life and in Spelunky. I like to be constantly moving, as in with the character. And I have a very hard time to also not fidget in my seat. And wherever, whatever I'm doing, I, will, I, I don't know, I think it, I would even go as far as saying that it's a neurological problem that I just... No, I wouldn't call it a problem. It's not like it's a, it's an impediment to anything I try to accomplish. It's just a thing that happens in my brain that I need to constantly move. Or not constantly move, but, you know... Like, standing still kind of makes me antsy. <laughs> so I, I want to be having some kind of movement like uh, whipping my, my leg up and down and that kind of deal. There you go. I don't know if that was all the monies. But it was a lot of monies. <sighs> I don't want that, but I gotta do it. I don't really gotta do it. Eh, that was kind of foolish. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That was kind of foolish. Could I just use a rope or just do it from this side? So that was dumb. That uh, extra bomb that I used was super duper stupid. I am not proud of the expenditure. I don't know why I'm doing things this way. Kind of being... Uh, Wasting time and being inefficient. I'm not a fan. Alright, let's just go this way. Yeah, at the very least we'll get a... Uh, man, I never even go to the goddamn ruby. So, <laughs> another pass here. Um, at the very least we're guaranteed a cape in the hell, right? We just gotta get there. Yep. At least we'll get that. Okay, we gotta go around this ghost yet again. Mind numbing. Alright, this should be good. Actually, I'm going to be safe and go around this way. Because I don't trust the jumping in water mechanics. It's uh, much slower than you would expect. And you might have a very bad time if you try to do it like that. I'm not missing any money, right? I don't think so. Go through very, very tiny amount of money going to the ice caves. Very disappointing. But what can you do? There's nothing you can do about it. I guess I could have ghosted more. I could have gone out of my way to get more money. <laughs> you definitely want to keep the mines. This shotgun is really quite the boon to get back up to places. And there's Kali Alt Kali's Altar. And also, a uh, bouncy platform that might end up killing me. We'll see. Looks like we can get back up. With some effort, another bouncy platform that will probably end up killing me. Hey! Well, that was totally intentional. Alright. There's too many bouncy platforms here. Whew, okay. I was hoping not to get a not to get a big gem, because I don't want to go to this level, honestly. <laughs> this is really bad. Really quite terrible. This whole setup is just not gonna work out for me. Oh my goodness, this is bad. Can I make it to that thing? Yeah, I totally can. Yep. A dangerous jump, though. So we don't want to do it twice. There you go. There you go. And another. Tough to get back up. I don't know if I can make this jump. I think I can. Not anymore. Holy crap. What the? Oh, thank you, Parachute. <laughs> Did not realize there was two goddamn... Uh, uh, evil. Evil. Super evil. Assholes. Die. Shithead. 
Oh my goodness, that was just hotter in your throat kind of situation. Please go away now. Well, he went away indeed. <laughs> it was a very unpleasant experience for him. Alright, so this is a terrible level to ghost in. Absolutely atrocious. Tempted to just grab the gems and go. But that's not how we do things, is it? It is not. Those two gems down there are also teasing the shit out of me. Alright, so we want to get... Uh, this area is really easy to ghost. The bottom. We want to do the stuff at the top first. How am I even going to get those two? Ah, we'll work out something. We'll work out something. We'll get it done. Not worried. Okay, so this emerald then, we want to stand by the entrance of the level. And then have the... Goes go from top to the bottom. Bottom to top, I stop at the middle of my thoughts. <laughs> Please, no, don't do that again. Uh, or, you know, we can just grab the gems and then die. There you go. Calculated risk. I mean, not risk, but a calculated drop. I actually intended, because there was no other way to take full damage there. There was no other way I had to take full damage, so you want to drop exactly vertical so you don't keep bouncing forward. So I feel pretty badass about that, that uh, you know, resolution of the terrible mistake that I made. It was my mistake, but I solved it, damn it. Um, I was one pixel away from also getting ghosted, so <laughs> it worked out. It worked out all right. All right, so let's get this done. Something else I could have done was whip the gems out of position. That was uh, quite the oversight. I did not think of, about doing that. We'll have to rescue Major Stupid the Third. But I need to have priorities here. Okay, let's get out of here. Holy crap. It has been such a harrowing seed for so little reward. <laughs> because there's hardly been anything to do. To take advantage of. Well, this guy's gonna just explode. All right. I wanted to speed up, speed up the process of his demise by shooting it, its body full of pellets, but it was just too eager to jump into a landmine and get itself murdered by the consequent, consequent explosion. I don't want to get rid of these platforms, they are basically my only bridge. Well, there they go. <laughs> the bridge is now gone. Might as well continue getting rid of these goddamn platforms. God is damning a lot of things today. Hmm, that bearded rascal. Let's just kill this man with firepower. I could just let him jump! And in fact, I should have. Because now my ball sack would not be a bow tie around my neck. That's just the way reality went down, I suppose. Okay, well. In another level, where is nearly worthless to stick around, but I'm gonna do anyway and risk it all for a meager reward. Let's do it. It's just the way things need to happen. Man, so many mines. So little to do with them. And this is going to the abyss. No, it's not. Okay. Careful with the other things. I don't want them to drop on my head. None of these are ghostable. This one is. I think that'll work out. Yeah, but then I lost the other, so that was stupid. Oh, that was dumb. Okay. At least we can harvest a little bit of blood here. No more ahead yet, so we still gotta hang on to our life for dear life. Alright, I believe that we're done with these mines. Just toss them out of the way. <sighs> so there's one ruby at the bottom. This is so shit. This is such shit, man. One ruby at the bottom, and wow. Thank goodness. Thank goodness they not just die. Although, I would maybe have appreciated being put out of my misery right here. This is due one at a time, as in... You know, it really doesn't matter the, the order in which we do this, honestly. There's only, I think, like four? It's just... Ugh. It fills me with gross feelings to be going out of my way to go so little. Especially since I know for a fact this seed is not going to be a million dollars, so maybe I shouldn't. I mean, it's not going to be two million. There's no way we're going to make the two million now. Uh, there would have had to be so much more money in the beginning, so 
it is debatable whether it's even a worthy endeavor to continue ghosting these uh, chump change rewards. Okay, well, we gotta make it through the bottom here. Pow! But, of course, we want to be at the top of those leaderboards, damn it! And this seat is hard enough that the... The grand totals are not going to be that high. Wasn't there an emerald? Yeah, there, there was totally an emerald we want to get. Let's do it. Let's do it! Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, it helps a lot to do the, gr the little grunt, the little groan. Totally helps. Alright, let's get that. And then go back to the top. Mm -mm -mm. This way. This is a bad one. There you go. My goodness. <laughs> Such a pain in the ass. Okay, now the emerald. The entity formerly no known as an emerald. There. Hey, we made a grand total of thirty thousand dollars. Yes, yes indeed. Yeah, thirty-three thousand. Totally worth it. Let's kill ourselves. Although there's probably a vault here just to make things that much mu that much lengthier. And I've been labeled a terrorist. Music still going, so there's totally a vault in here. Son of a bitch. This guy, stomp, stomp. We totally want to save Jacob. No, the vault is not... I mean, there's no vault. Okay. It was just the shopkeeper was stuck somewhere. Ah, oh, there was a shop. With a few bombs. And nothing else. Oh, rope here. A few bombs. I guess that's okay. Oh, boy. Yeah, totally ghost of area too. Well, let's get started, bitch. I want to put this, actually, I want to put this, I guess, up here. Grab. I think it's easier to get up through this way. In fact, we want to put all the pots close by. Hopefully they won't just careen into the abyss. That will be not appreciated. Just in case. Also, let's save Jacob before we do a damn thing. Whoop! To get that little bit of extra health in the next level after we sacrifice our anuses to the greater good. Okay. Oh, but there's two. Durr. There's two in the walls. There's some damage there. That doesn't really matter. Let's put them there. Basically just making time after... Well... There goes my double chance to get a gem out of that. Mm -mm -mm. As I usually tell ya, because this might be the first daily challenge you watch. Well, that was terrible. At least we get plenty of mines. Yeah. <laughs> As I was saying, uh, if you put a pot next to an explosion, I saying if you make a pot explode, it has double the chance of dropping something useful. Is that really the last mine? <sighs> Such a freaking moron, what an idiot! Damn it, I'm determined to get this, so... It's going to happen, one way or another. God damn it! I never even exploded the goddamn pot! Alright, well, at least those are five gems all clustered together, and there's, there's another two on the other side. And then we just gotta kill ourselves. I like any game that requires you to kill yourself. Among them is Planescape Torment, the best RPG ever created, damn it! The best uh, R computer RPG, I guess. You could just say RPG. Because I haven't played a pen and pa paper RPG that touched me as much as freaking Planescape Torment. I don't mean sexually touched, although there was some of that too. There was a lot of arousal inv involved. Planescape, Planescape Torment, man. Just go in thinking you're going to read a lot of stuff and all of it is going to be amazing. Like going. As in, maybe I'm going to read a, a visual novel. It's not like that. But you're going in reading a lot of text. And just going there for that. Not as something that you had to put up with. 
Like the gameplay is uh, an aside, a uh, bonus of all the fantastic writing and the story that happens. And don't get me wrong, the gameplay is, you know, it's uh, standard Infinity Engine fair with some twists that are incredible. Like when you, spoiler alert, you gotta kill yourself to solve a few puzzles and stuff. It's just really, really awesome. Uh, I think we're done here. But uh, yeah, yeah, there's a good reason why. No, I went through the exit. Oh, you are such an idiot. You're such a moron. You're such a moron. <laughs> I'm the worst. I'm the worst. There's no question about that. In my defense, I mean, it's not defense as uh, as a consolation thought. Oh, what a dumbass. As, <laughs> it's a consolation thought. Uh, this seed wasn't going nowhere, so... You know, it's not like, oh, holy shit, I lost the $2 million run. Nah, no, I didn't. I just lost the City of Gold and a shitty seed. It's okay. Uh, still, though, that does not make me any less of an idiot. But I would say you're probably used to that. <laughs> if you're watching, if you're in the habit of watching these, uh, this bad, this is real bad, please don't kill me. Thank you for not killing me. I appreciate it. <laughs> Uh, if you're in the habit of watching these, you're probably used to what I just did of doing something absolutely idiotic. Oh my goodness, I'm such an idiot. I even talked about it too. I gotta I gotta kill myself, blah blah blah. The whole reason I was talking about that is because I, I needed to kill myself. So yeah, yeah, that just happened. That just happened. <sighs> what a moron. What a moron. Actually, it's good to destroy because that makes me able to just drop down there. Hey! Okay, let's gather some blood, forget what just happened. At least we get to get the plasma cannon and destroy everything. Uh, I doubt I'll do it though, because what the hell is the point? I will definitely go into the. Ooh! Go into the place where good things happen. And by that I mean terrible things happen, which is the. the mothership. I feel like a complete idiot for the wasted opportunity. Da, 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 da. I don't see any mines. This upsets me greatly. That's my latest update on how I feel. Woo! Okay. <laughs> well, this needs to happen one way or another if I want to make it all the way up here. No mines, really. Man, this is a terrible jump. Do I dare? I dare. Whoa! Okay, that was not as terrible as I thought. So we want to get all this money with minimal risk to my person. I think we need it from the bottom to the top, actually. Get it done the way we normally do it. Oh boy. <laughs> never mind, never mind all that. Let's move on with your life. At least we get to go to the... To the place. The place! To the mothership! What happened to the emerald that was right here? I don't know what happened. Oh, I whipped it, that's right. I whipped it like an idiot. There goes the emerald. Yeah. Probably a good idea to bomb through here, just to have that other path for me to get through, especially since... Uh, Having bombs is no longer a super priority. Let's get all this junk. And grab my shotgun. I could go naked into the mothership just to sign my death warrant. But I'm not going to do it. Maybe we can get a fantastic score just going to the temple. That is a possibility. I don't really want to do it though. It's tedious, you know. Blowing up the temple is super tedious. I might just grab the plasma cannon and just get to the end. Yeah. Just let go of my greedy, greedy tendencies. Just once. Because it really does not matter, is it? Does it? Oh. It's just completely different, a completely different dynamic. When I uh, there's no longer anything at stake, it's like... Pfft, what the hell does it matter anymore? Let's just get through the game and have fun. Instead of just wasting for, waiting for the ghost and, uh, you know, driving the ghost around like we always do. It'll be more fun. You just what? What? <laughs> that turret was just determined 
to, uh, you know, take a picture of me with its laser. Okay. Shoots its laser up my anus. Uh, give me a very bad time. Okay, that happens. What's happening here? There's just so... Uh, everything's clustered up here, I suppose. Uh oh Okay. That should work. Kablooey. Like I said, we don't care about Ghosty Nomo. Don't care about Ghosty Nomo. Let's just do this. Kabloom! Okay, shoot from here. We'd like to dispatch all the aliens, please. We are a border patrol agent and we want to get rid of all of the aliens with as many violent means as possible. Just like a Border Patrol agent. Very upset about the complete lack of Caper Chip. What the frickin'? <laughs> it was the platform ascending, you see. Oh, you might think, hey, you don't want money anymore. Why are you killing these guys? Principle. Just pure, simple principle of wanting to murder the gross assholes that always ruin my life. It is that simple. All right, let's just find the exit, which will be real easy because it's pointed by a gigantic red arrow. And then just get to the end. And count it as a freaking success, okay? Somewhat. It will kind of rankle my feathers, though, not to... You know, for my score to be ab abysmal. Should be able to just jump down there, there you go. For my score to be abysmal, get to the end and not have a very good score, but you know what, I think I can live with it. What really? Son of a bitch, man. We don't even need to kill Anubis here, though. Okay, this is a bad spot. If I drop down there, I'm going to have a bad time, so let's do that. I thought for sure I'd have uh, some fall damage there, but I didn't. This is so nerve wracking. <laughs> let's put a bomb here. This is a terrible temple level. Terrible! There should be a shopkeeper in there that just currently got completely crushed. I am fond of what just happened. Very, very fond indeed. Kaboom! <laughs> and through the exit. Oh boy, that was totally an uh, awesome exploration of this dark level. I don't think that's the very first time I do that, so there's a first! Haha, <laughs> extra life. <laughs> can we still save the... we can totally save the plasma cannon. I think. We put the bomb here. Yeah! It would totally melt. But you do have some time to save it. Well, at least we had the extra life. It's so seldom that you get here. You know, now that I'm thinking about it. This is a very unique situation, isn't it? Because we never get here with, uh, with an extra life. You either have wasted your extra life before you kill yourself in the... Oh, I, oh of course, there's a ticket tram next to the exit, so that means the shopkeeper gets, shopkeeper gets glitched. Uh, you either waste your extra life before you cure yourself, or never get the Ankh. So it is very rare to get a resurrection in the temple, so that's pretty cool. I like it. Pretty neat. I never survived one of these without... Destroying the trap first. Oh, I already destroyed the trap, so never mind. I would have totally had. Well, I got some kind of damage there. That was weird. Ah, 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 death, death. <laughs> oh wow, fantastic dodging, friendo. But thanks to the wow, that was another incredible scramble there. Thanks to the the locust blocking my shot, this guy totally got murdered. It was good tandem there. Good uh. Good teamwork. Okay, that happens. We can go through here. Chip tunes, by the way. It's really hard for me to hear it. Because I'm constantly blabbering. Now, there's chip tunes. Okay, I will totally die if I take damage here, so let's not. And just plasma cannon this fool to oblivion. There you go. I hope that you enjoy that, Mr. Shopkeeper Man. I'm sure you appreciate it. 
Okay, so this is a bad time. I might have a very bad time if I continue down this path. Hopefully he will not jump all over my head. How is he not dead? <laughs> I can't believe it. Well, we're going through the exit to visit Yama, have a great time at his abode. I feel no remorse about throwing all those bombs. Okay, so Olmec's lair. I say Yama, I meant Olmec. Durr. Um, Olmec's lair, wow. It's been a while since I was here, actually. I've been so bad. Can't believe this disaster was actually the best I've done for quite a while. <laughs> anyway, let's make a path. Don't even care about uh, being uh, careful. I think those will totally work. Nope, they did not. We gotta remake this tunnel. And here. That should work, right? Ye. And that one here. My very last rope. Alright, Mr. Man. You gonna eat it. Uh -huh. See ya. Hey, we actually got to the end of the game, which is fantastic and also very, very shameful. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> but I'm not terribly, uh, you know, heartbroken about it. Hope that you had a good time. We'll see the scores pretty damn soon. Uh, and in fact, a Nomic ending is something I haven't gotten in months. So, you know, it's, it's different. It is okay. It doesn't have to be always the same deal every single day. Damn it. Not by choice, though, because I was just an idiot. <laughs> but that is uh, something that very much I'm used to, so it's alright. My wife will tell you all the time, I'm such a freaking moron. Oh, so that is really bad score, but you know what? I really don't anticipate seeing very high scores in this seed. I would be surprised if anything goes over 1.2 million. 1.2 million in the final score. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Round 4, look at that. Uh, my scores. No, yeah, yeah, that's what, this will work. Yeah, I'm uploading right now. 1.6, you badass motherfucker. <laughs> that's fantastic. Um, I guess if maybe if you kept that uh, Mr. Man alive. Oh, well, you know, there was a lot of bombs. So the City of Gold would have gotten you quite a lot of money. So yeah, maybe, maybe it wasn't that bad. But everywhere else, there was not that much money whatsoever. So anyway... Hope that you had a good time. I had fun. It's idiocy and all. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, I bid you farewell.